All right, welcome back, guys. We're gonna do another code sharp problem today. This today we're gonna use C sharp because my last Python run was pretty bad. I'm pretty rusty with Python. Uh, anyways, um, so ATM challenge or assignment. What's it say? Pooja would like to withdraw X US dollars from an ATM. Cash machine will only accept the transaction if X is multiple of five. And Pooja's account balance has enough cash to perform the withdrawal transaction, including bank charges. For each successful withdrawal, the bank charge is fifty cents. Calculate Pooja's balance after an attempted transaction. So they give the, I think they give constraints. Oh, they don't give constraints for the, yep, here we go, input. <clears throat> Those are the constraints. Um, what I noticed from Code Chef so far is that they don't really test the constraints too much. There, there's there been other examples where they're like, you know, X has to be between zero and like 10,000. And you don't even need to put any code to check to make sure it's within 10,000 and you could use the inputs that they give you as long as it works it's it passes so you can actually save some time with that I don't think that's a good thing moving forward but that's that's code shift that's how they do it anyway so they give us some sample things so it looks like okay the output the cap balance after the attempted transaction given as number with two digits of precision if there is not enough money in the account to complete the transaction output the current bank balance so let's see what we're expecting here expecting first case that the first example they gave is general case you know you have enough money to make a withdrawal second one oh not a multiple of five literally says it right there and the last one is insufficient funds so let us get started on this so I just as I always do I copy and paste the prompt just in case something would happen to these code chef problems one day so I think the first thing we have to do is we have to take some input right so we're gonna do that um another thing i noticed about coach chef is they like to have the input put in exactly the way they have it placed for example let's see over here so if they see the input no no that's terrible here we go input 42 120 they want this as a single line so you'd have to parse it most of the time I'm not a fan of that I feel like you should have more freedom to do it however which way you want especially if some people are not as advanced not that I'm saying it's an advanced thing but you know in general I think you should have more flexibility but that's the way they want to do it I guess it's good practice as well all right so first thing we're doing we're gonna take a uh, user input take up the whole line because again we just established that they want to put it a certain way where the first is the amount that you want to withdraw and the second imp uh, number on that same line is how much your account balance is that's a weird way to do it but it is what it is so this line right here is going to let me see if I could zoom in I'm gonna pause the video real quick okay video is on pause I think that's a good enough zoom maybe one more for good measure okay so this line right here is just basically going to take your line and it's going to split it up. It's going to parse it by the white spaces, right? So the next thing we do, we want to have the variables to be able to hold the values that we're going to put in. So we'll do a float. You could do a double, I guess. Or I think uh, C Sharp also has decimals. And let's just make sure that whatever... So I'll explain this in a second. So what this is saying right here is that after we split the line that you gave, those two values, after we split it up, we're going to make sure that they're, the um, split values are going to be floats. So we're just going to use float.parse. And we're going to do the same for the second input, which is your current balance. And then that would be the second value that comes out of that string. Okay, so now, how do we handle the first condition, where it has to be divisible by 5? Well, that's easy. We're going to use modulus. When I was first learning programming, I thought modulus was probably the most useless thing. I was like, when would you ever do that? Why would you just not divide the values? But it turns out modulus is amazing. So what we're going to do here... First, this line so far is saying that if the amount that we're asking it to withdraw is not divisible by 5, basically, if you divide it by 5 and the remainder is not 0, then it's not divisible by 5, right? Wait, did I say that right? You guys know what I mean. <laughs> it has to be divisible by 5. That's what it's checking for. And the second constraint 
is that you have to have enough money in your balance. So, whoop. Let's see. Can't seem to spell today. Sorry, what? Is that recapital D? Withdrawal amount. There you go. Did I spell that wrong? No, that's right. Withdrawal amount. And it has to be less than or equal to the current balance subtracted by the bank fee. So that's our first condition. So what we're saying, if it's divisible by five and it's less than your balance, so you have enough to take it out, let's output what they're asking for. How do we do that? There's actually an interesting link. I didn't know this myself because I'm still learning a few things about C Sharp as well. Um, I'm going to show a link after this video that shows you multiple ways that you could actually give the set precision of two decimals. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say current balance. So we're going to write out current balance minus the withdrawal amount minus the actual fee. And we're missing that, right? Okay. So next, what happens next? The other scenario is if start the same way, it has to be divisible by five. So the next scenario is that if it's divisible by five, but you're asking to withdraw more than more money than you have in your current balance, you're just gonna print out the current balance. So how do we do that? Once again, make sure it's divisible by five. What am I doing here? That was totally wrong. And the second part of that constraint is let's uh or check is let's see, is it more than your current balance? If it is, just display your current balance. I actually like this, well, I actually like this example because it gives you a chance to test out a couple different ways that you could do set precision. Missing a parenthesis. And the last case scenario, I forgot what the last case scenario was. What did they ask it for? Let's see here. I think the last case scenario, so I've done successful, insufficient, ah, withdrawal. Um, well, all of these are checking if it's divisible by five. So I think a regular else statement will suffice. I don't need to be specific, but this is going to be the case scenario that if it is not um, divisible by five. So how do we do this? We're going to do the same thing here. We need to do current balance dot two string. And in here, we're going to set the precision for that. And we're good. OK, let's run this. <clears throat> let's see what we get here. What's their case samples? 30 and 120, right? 30 and 120. Awesome. Why did that happen? <laughs> uh, whoops, not that. 30 and 120. There you go, 89.50. By the way, that happened because I just did a regular uh, debug, not the um, control F5, which is what you want to do. So the next case sample is 42 and 120, right? 42 and 120. Yep, it gives you the current balance. The last one is insufficient funds. Okay, for all intents and purposes, that seems to be working. Um, once again, the project files will be linked in the description. 
I just want to show this one thing for Stack Overflow because uh, this is what I was referring to. See so this guy. It's very helpful. You could use either of these. I guess I don't know if uh, Code Chef is going to accept this one. I think this is actually given a dollar amount, which might throw an error. Uh, but either way, you can use these two as I tried to display by using a variety of those two. And yeah, there's going to be a couple other videos going. I think the biggest series for like more practical stuff is going to come down later. I'm going to work on my own um, speaking ability while I'm making these um, projects and tutorials. Um, with these code chef, maybe hack rank stuff down the road. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps. And once again, the links are in the description for the project files. In case you can't see it through the video. Alright, take it easy and good luck.